monkey and the bell, Alfred. Long, long ago, no one really knows how long ago, <laughs> there was a village near the river of Brahmaputra. The people in the village were hardworking and simple. They worshipped the gods and goddesses for good fortune. And they also lived in harmony with their neighbors. But they were a little scared of the nearby forest. You know why? They believed there was a demon in the forest. A demon who would kill anyone who stepped into the forest. Therefore, as much as possible, they avoided going to the forest. Now, in this village, there also lived a thief. One day, this thief broke into the village temple. He stole all the ornaments from the deities. And as he was running out, he pulled the silver temple bell and ran into the forest to escape. And as he was running into the forest, the bell kept making clanging noises. These clanging noises echoed through the silent forest. But the thief didn't care. All he was bothered about was running out, getting away from this forest, selling his loot and becoming rich. At that moment, nearby at the forest lake, there was a tiger quenching its thirst. As soon as it heard, heard these clanging noises, tang, 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 it became alert. Then it became enchanted and enthralled by the sounds. It became curious, where are these sounds coming from? And it ran towards these sounds to investigate. As soon as it saw the thief, it jumped on him and killed him. And the bell fell down and rolled towards the tree. Tung, 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 tung. The, the tiger left the thief's body and moved towards the bell and started playing with it. Tung, 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 tung. <laughs> After a while, it got bored. It left the bell there and went away. A few days later, some monkeys were passing by that place. And as they were swinging from branch to branch through the trees, they suddenly stopped because they saw the silver bell on the ground. They got down. They became curious. They started moving towards the bell. One of them touched the bell. Tongue. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Again, it moved back. Ooh, 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 ooh. They became excited. Then went, the monkey went forward and picked up the bell. Tung, 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 tung. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now they loved the sound, thought it was melodious. So they took the bell with them and went to their home. The monkey's home was in the old ruins on the top of the hill in the forest. And every day at any time they were playing with the bell and ringing the bell. Tung, 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 tung. They disturbed the peace and quiet of the forest. Meanwhile, the villagers were still looking for the thief. When they heard these clanging sounds from the hill, they began to wonder, well, what are these sounds? Who's making them? And then the village had declared, it must be the thief. He has a bell. He's ringing it. He's taunting us. We must go and get him. So a group of men stood up, picked up the sticks, and went into the forest. But as they were going through the trees, they came upon the decaying, rotted corpse of the thief. They were horrified by this horrible, mutilated form. Who could have done such horror? It must be a demon. At that moment, the monkeys rang the bell. Tung, 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 tung. These echoing sounds terrified them. It must be the demon. Let's get out of here. And they ran away back to the village. When they reached the village, they called everyone. Listen, listen, listen. There's a demon in the forest. It has the bell. It's ringing it. Whoever goes into the forest, it kills them. And then rings the bell to celebrate. Hearing this, the people panicked. And altogether they stopped going into the forest. The monkeys kept ringing the bell every day and terrifying these villagers even more. So whenever the bell was ringing, the people used to pray to the gods, Oh Lord, please, please deliver us from this stupid evil. At night, they were afraid to step out of their houses thinking that the demon would come. But as the days passed, the ringing was continuous and people became even more frightened. So they started leaving the village to find the li livelihood elsewhere. Now amidst all this confusion and tension, there was one person in the village who did not believe in the demon. Her name was Manasa. <laughs> 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 
Manas sir was 60 years old. <laughs> but she was the most intelligent and bold person in the entire village. False. When she heard all these stories of the demon, she thought, why will a demon ring bells? No, this cannot be a demon. I must find out who is ringing the bell. So therefore, one night, she took a lantern in one hand and a stick in another, and she set off into the forest. All the other villagers were huddled in the house in fear and praying to the gods. But Manasa gathered her courage and went into the forest following those ringing sounds. As she was going through the trees, she came upon the rotted corpse of the thief. At that moment, the bell rang again. But she gathered her courage again, and she went off forward following the sounds. When she finally reached the old ruins, she saw the monkeys playing with the bell. And that's when she understood what was really going on. After watching them for a while, she quietly slipped away and went back to her house. Now she began to think of a plan to get that bell back from the monkeys. So she went to the king the next day and said, Your Majesty, I know of a plan to get rid of the demon. I'll perform a ritual. And for that, I need to buy a few things. I need some money. The king was very much terrified of this demon. So immediately he agreed. He told his servants, give her two bushels of gold coins so that she can buy her things. So after getting the money, Manasa went to the market and she bought a basket each of peas, groundnuts and fruits. And she went home. And as she was going home, all the other villagers started following her. They are curious, what is this crazy old woman doing? Manasa went home and in the courtyard she drew a big circle. Then she kept the baskets there and started dancing and chanting to the gods like this. <laughs> she put up a big show for the people there. About half an hour later, she stopped. She collected the baskets and went into the forest. The people watching her go said, she is not coming back. <laughs> Manasa went to the old ruins. And some place away from the monkeys, she spread all the eatables on the ground beneath a tree. She hid behind a big rock. After some time, the monkeys saw the eatables. And these greedy animals dropped the bell and immediately ran and started gobbling the eatables. Manasa slowly got out behind the rock. She went there, she picked up the bell, and she held her hand beneath it so that it doesn't make any sound. Then she came back behind the rock. The same way she ran, ran back to her village. And the next day, she went and handed the bell over to the king and said, Your Majesty, the demon is dead. It won't bother us anymore. And the king was happy. He rewarded her with gifts and land. And when the villagers came to know of this, they praised her for her bravery. The bell never rang again from the hills. And it was peaceful once again. So friends, what is the moral of the story? Smart. Smart. Never believe rumors. Always try to find out the truth behind every rumor. Thank you. <laughs>